An unprecedented power has been unleashed to sack one of Australia's highest paid public officials. The commissioner of the almost three-year-old Australian border force has been dumped for misbehaviour and breaking rules to help his girlfriend get a job. Roman Quadvalig denies the charge, but the Governor-General has already stripped his commission and his $600,000 a year salary away. Here's National Affairs correspondent Greg Jennett. The swearing of an oath was the making of a commissioner. I will conduct myself with integrity and honesty. And that oath became his unmaking. On a day spent managing matters of state with Vietnam, the Governor-General at home in Yarralumla had quietly and historically signed out the commission of Roman Quad League. Two and a half years as the ABF's first leader, but banished from office for the best part of one of them, the government let its reasons be known in one A4 piece of paper. It found Commissioner Quad League's conduct went beyond an isolated error of judgment. He'd willfully or recklessly made a false statement to the immigration minister on the status of his personal relationships and had engaged in acts which amounted to misbehaviour. The government concluded Mr Quadleague had not only helped his female partner get a job with the ABF, but that he modified policies to do it and didn't disclose the relationship quickly enough. I have consistently maintained my strong denial and I continue to, Mr Quadleague replied, noting he rejected an invitation to resign because to do that is tantamount to a concession of culpability. Peter Dutton hasn't commented on the dismissal, but his predecessor who created the border force spoke of upholding its values. The leadership of those organisations, um, you know, you want to meet the highest of standards and we will expect and continue to expect those high standards. And the Commissioner, Prime Minister, Prime Minister. great to see you. The Border Force Commissioner, like electoral commissioners and federal police commissioners, are in a rare group of privileged office holders. They're specially protected by law and none has ever been sacked using the Governor-General's power until now. The collision of Roman Quadvalig's private and public lives has taken almost 10 months to reach its costly conclusion. And the ousted Commissioner may still go on fighting it. He says, is taking time to consider his options. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.